What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and today I wanted to cover the latest release for Vita Fighters. This is an original game, homebrew game for the PS Vita and released on the 22nd of February and the size is 51.78 megabytes. So uh, let's take a look at the video here real quick and see what we got going on. And it looks like we have Ryu versus Kakashi from Naruto. Very nice. So let's go ahead and download this VPK. And it's fairly easy to install these type of homebrew games. All you have to do is connect your Vita shell uh, to your PC uh, through USB connection or FTP connection. Uh, let's find in our folder here. So let's open up Vita shell and enable our USB connection. I'm going to press start. Let me go back here. Let's press start and make sure your select button is on USB if you're going to do the USB connection or FTP for the FTP connection. And here we go. So this step is very easy. All you have to do is copy it into the root of your USB drive or copy it into your VPK folder. And I like to do that just because I have everything organized and just more easier to find these files. Not a big deal, but that's just how I am, I guess. So let's go back on our Vita. So exit out your USB connection or FTP connection and go find your VPK file. Mine is going to be under the UXO folder. And here we go, VPK. Here's the VitaFighters.VPK. 51.78 megabytes. Press X to install. And let's press X to continue. And hopefully they have a lot of characters to play with. That would be nice. So yeah, I'm running off 3.73 with H on core 2 and so far so good everything has been working just fine for me the only thing that I don't see working is adrenaline and hopefully they can update that for us on this latest version I know a lot of people would prefer to downgrade but um, I'll do that video in the future but for now I just want to work on 3.73 and just uh, see what we got going on because a lot of people are not doing it so I just prefer to stay on 3.73. Let's go find that. There it is. Created with Unity. Ah, that's a terrible <laughs> a wallpaper there. And I'm gonna put my headset on so I can hear the music and all that good stuff. Vita Fighters. Does it really take this long to load? Let's go Vita Fighters. Let's go Vita Fighters. There we go. And we have three options. RK versus and training. Let's go to training. And here we go. Select your fighter. We have Ryu, or Ryu, KFM, I don't know who that is. Gone from Hunter, X Hunter, I think. Dio, not sure. Kakashi from Naruto. Kyo, don't know. Tifa, Tanjiro. Soul, and Dimitri. I think Dimitri's from Street Fighter. Uh, let's choose Kakashi. How do I choose Kakashi? Select. Uh oh. That's uh, not good. What the hell? This is weird. I'm pressing X and O and triangle and square. There we go. I guess it's square. Training room. Oh, okay. Let's go to Japan. Ah, let's go to ruins. So we gotta press square to move forward. Okay. 
Whoa, I just I just pressed X and he just did that. It's a little laggy. I'm not sure if it's the plugin that I'm using, but on the Vita screen, it's so nice. It's like a Minecraft almost feel to it. And it does like just a little bit. And I'm getting 60 frames here, no problem. So yeah, there's a triangle. There's a square for punch. Nice. Whoa. This is pretty cool. So the left and right triggers do not work. And the right analog is pretty much useless. The left analog doesn't do anything to you. You have to use the D-pad. There goes his, his alt or something. I don't know. Well, let's press start. Got our menus. And it does work with the touch screen. Yeah, so I'm dragging my finger across and it's working just fine. Very good. Uh, let's see, resume game, press select, and we got a console. So you can do all sorts of different coding or something. Kind of interesting. But yeah, that is basically it guys for the training. Now let's try arcade. Let's go with Ryu. Ryu. Tanjiro. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh snap. Ah, it does lag a little bit. I it's I think it's just cuz I'm I'm streaming. So you can okay. Damn, this is good. What's his alt? Oh boy. Oh man, this is a really nice quality game, guys. Go download it. Uh oh. But there's not a lot of controls. You're just and he's floating in this. Okay, so you can't block. Nice. Oh, so you have to get the meters up. There's a couple meters below. And I guess when you attack, you fill up each little meter. And your lives, I'm pretty sure those are those gray little, uh, little squares are your lives. And we got the time. Basic, you know, fighting um, interface here. This is a fun game. I like this one. This is a nice casual. Now there is a uh, an older release, and this one this one I'm playing on is the latest, right? And hopefully there's a couple of different fixes with uh, the game if you already have this one. Damn, this is really smooth. You're just seeing a lot of lag on on the stream there, but he's. The Vita's playing it perfectly. I don't see no lag whatsoever. So yeah, that's basically it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to cover this since it was one of the latest homebrews released. And I always want to keep you guys updated with everything. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. I appreciate it. Any questions, comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, guys. And I will see you on the next one.